Dear Diary, ever since I was a kid, I would always use the I'm sick excuse for everything I didn't want to do. Going to a birthday party I didn't want to attend? <coughs> I'm sick. Having a dance performance I didn't practice for? <coughs> I'm sick. Or just not wanting to go to school in general? <coughs> I'm sick. I used it for everything until my mom noticed I was getting sick so frequently she tried to take me to the doctors. And I'm scared of doctors. So ever since then, I stopped pretending I was sick. Until now. <coughs> oh, heart. Are you okay? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> you don't sound okay. Do you need me to get a nurse? No, it's fine. <coughs> the party's already starting. I guess I can sit this one out. No, just go without me. Really? Are you sure? Yes, I'll be fine. But I can't leave you like this. I'll just leave this off and I'll be all better in the morning. It's fine, just go and have fun. Well, <laughs> if you say so, I won't stay too long. I'll see ya. See ya. <laughs> Hot, lay down and rest. I'm fine. No, really, I heard tiring yourself makes it worse. Quinn, I'm not sick. Huh? You lied? To Clover? Don't worry, I'll text her in a few hours to say I'm all okay. She wasn't kidding when she said she wasn't taking no for an answer. But we both know I can't afford to sneak out and get caught. That's way too risky. If you explain it to her, maybe she'll understand? Clover and I haven't been... Seeing each other eye to eye lately. I could tell. I see auras sometimes, and yours used to be in sync. No, they're the opposite. Auras, huh? They see ghosts too sometimes. Right. Are you being serious? You've got a friend in me I will always be your best friend till the end Whenever you want, lean on me I know I can count on you You'll be there for me, I'll be there too Any day, anywhere, just call my name I know you'll do the same Is it? 12.45 a.m. and she sent me this. Help? Yes, and I don't know where she is because she won't answer. Calm down. Um, we should tell the teacher. Tell a teacher? Honestly, I did think of that. But that would be writing out a chunk of my classmates. And I'd forever be known as the Dibby Dauber. Maybe the situation calls for it. But I don't even know where Clover is. Is she still at Harper's dorm? Is she elsewhere? I need to figure that out first. Let's try to figure out where she is first. Do you know where Harper's dorm could be located? Yes, I think I know. I'm pretty sure it's the floor above us, but on the other side. A and you know this how? I tried to memorize the places I want to avoid. The staircase should be to the left of the hallway. Let's go. How are we gonna get out? Um... No! 
Yes, it's the only way. When I'm scared of heights. Facing your fear of heights or helping your best friend. I hope I don't regret this. It's okay, the roof is surrounded by roof railings. If I'm correct, we do a loop and that should lead us to the other side. That should be where Harper's room is. Let's go. Okay. That should be it! Yeah! Whoa, surprisingly, it's not slippy. Uh... What do we do now? We have to go around. Around? Yes. Come, it's okay, I know the way. You said that just a second ago and that led us to a wall. I promise this time I'm right. You all good? Yeah. Sorry, I'm unfit. Okay, this should be the hallway. Yep, I can hear the music. Should we just knock? I guess so. Why aren't you knocking? Oh. your voice? Clover! Are you okay? What happened? Huh? What? Um, you left me five missed calls and text saying help? Oh yeah. Sorry about that. I didn't know how to get you to come here. What? Please. I knew you were being fake sick the whole time. This party is so fun, Heart. I just wanted you to come so you can experience it too. What's the point of attending the same high school if we don't get to share these experiences with each other? I know, I made you worried, but I'm perfectly fine. I wasn't being kidnapped or anything. Are you kidding me right now, Clover? Don't kid about stuff like that. I thought you were actually in danger. Quinn here also snuck out just to help me look for you. We literally just scaled walls and roofs for you. Well, it got you here, didn't it? Come on, Quinn. We're leaving. Hello. Are these your friends? Uh, yeah! Um, okay. Come on in, please. We do have to close the door to keep the noise in. Let's go inside! Um, aren't we a little underdressed? Yeah, I didn't think of that. You know what? It's fine. Just say you thought it was a slumber party or something. Let's go! Um. Well, what do you think? I was the one who organized this party. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, your dorm looks really cool. Thanks. It's emptier than I thought. Papa made us put our stuff away and locked it in the bathroom. Oh, and that's another thing. If you need to go to the bathroom, just hold it. Papa said no one is allowed in there. She thinks it's icky for other people to use our bathroom. Oh, I gotta deal with that. Clover, just show them around for me, okay? Yep, yep. Isn't this so cool? Yes. The lights are really hurting my eyes. I think I have to keep this mask on. Did you really have to bring her? What do you mean? Nothing. Oh, Harp! <gasps> this is my friend, Harp. I invite her as well. I hope you don't mind. You did say we can bring friends. Of course. Hello, Hart. You look really familiar. Um. Oh my gosh. Is that spaghetti girl? That, Ruby. Jeez, just asking. And why is she wearing pajamas? And 
Is that one of the music nerds? Ruby, I think we'll go now. Thanks for letting us come. Please, you just got here. It's kind of rude if you leave immediately. Oh, um. Yeah, hard stay! Wait, before that, I think I should address the elephant in the room. And I just wanted to say, I'm sorry for the first day. Huh? Yeah, I think we can both agree that we got off on the wrong foot. I totally overreacted. It's not your fault you're clumsy. That was a joke? Loosen up a bit. <laughs> anyway, please feel free to grab some drinks. Clover, if you could show them. I just need to deal with something real quick. Are we actually letting them stay? Shut up, Ruby. Let's go over there. Excuse me, coming through. See, I told you she's not that bad. I don't know about that. Ugh, you're such a pessimist. Ugh, the music is really loud. Well, you're just gonna have to deal. This is how cool popular people do it. I didn't say it was bad or anything. I actually quite like it. Right. <laughs> Let's dance, Hart! Over, you know I don't dance. I don't really feel comfortable with what I'm wearing. Uh, who cares? You're here now. Loosen up. At least you aren't wearing this unicorn set. Hey, I love my unicorns. I love them too. When I was six. Clover, you're being really rude. Me? I'm rude? You? A teacher is coming. <gasps> oh no. Unacceptable. Dorm parties are prohibited here at Clement Academy. This is not how Clement Academy students act. Hot. Right. Clover, follow me. What? Just hurry. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. This is disgusting behavior. I can't believe you guys just made me jump roofs. I could have really died back there. That's what we had to do to get to you. Uh, hurt. Are you even listening to me? I'm going to bed. No. You're not. You're reading. Ugh, fine. Ignore me. My fingers are dusty from God knows what. And my makeup's all messed up from all that sweating. Hurt! Slow down! You're walking too fast! Seriously? You're still not mad at me about last night, are you? Miss, sorry, but this seat's actually for my friend here. Go sit somewhere else. Gladly. Okay, class. Let's She's begin. got spunk. Our first project for this Wait a minute, is the Spaghetti one. Girl? I can't believe I'm sitting next to Spaghetti Girl. Can you not? Seriously, that's like the third time. Well, would you prefer Laundry Girl? What did you just say? No, you cannot change them. Switch. What? Switch with me. Uh, okay. You are so dead. Okay, so anyone else who feels strongly about who they should partner with for this project? I thought we agreed not to speak of that night. What are you on about? You told that guy about the laundry thing. So? So, what if you tell someone? Chase is fine. 
I trust him. Okay, share your secrets with him for all I care. But did you seriously have to mention I was there? You might trust him, but I don't. Okay, you two. If you keep arguing like this, your baby will cry. It does detect audio, so it can tell if its parents are fighting. Excuse me? Take good care of them. You have two weeks for this project. Every time the baby's needs are met for a long period of time, it will record the data which I will be able to access and grade you accordingly for this child developmental project. And yes, this is 40% of your grade. Baby? What baby? Someone hasn't been paying attention. This is our fake baby. You're the mom, I'm the dad. We'll alternate nights taking care of her. Huh? Let's just hope she takes after me. You're kind of slow. 